rehab. I'm sleeping in my car. Yes. I got just got out of rehab. Now I'm sleeping in my car. Whoa. What happened? He explains, I tried to be Krishna conscious independently. I thought I could make it without a guru. But what happened, Krishna took everything. Actually, it's a blessing. <laughs> but if he had simply took it that way and then said, "Oh, oops, Krishna doesn't like with this. I better, I better surrender go over quickly." Yeah, surrender to Guru. And he'd be here by now. Mm -hmm. He'd be here by now. He's a nice guy. He's a musician. He's intelligent. So many qualities, but he has this one bad quality of independence. Huh? So by being independent. By trying to uh, get around the necessity of guru, then so many disasters happen. Huh? It's, you know, we've seen it so many times. So, huh? Guru Krishna Prasad Hoga Bhakti Lata Bij. See? That's the shloka. Guru Krishna Prashad Hoga Bhakti Lata Beach. The Bhakti Lata Beach <clears throat> is the desire seed of pure devotional service. This is the meaning of initiation. That the Guru gives the desire seed of pure devotional service within the heart. Right now we have the sinful desire seed of Kama. We have the Kama Bija. Kama Bija means the seed of desire for material enjoyment. And because we have this Kama Bija, then we do so many nonsense things trying to satisfy this desire. It only gets us in trouble and results in more suffering. Uh, and part of this uh, Kama Bija is that I want to be independent. I want to be the big man. No, no, no. The Bhakti Lata Bij is given at the time of initiation. And what it means is that then from that point we desire to be a pure devotee. And so we become a servant. If you can become a servant, uh, even in this material world, if you become a servant of a powerful person, you're automatically happy. Uh, you get to live on the, in the, the... If you become a servant of a king, for example, you get to live in the palace along with the royal family. You get to eat all of the nice food and wear all the nice clothes and be a member of the court and, and so on. Even if you're just a servant, huh? you have some honor because you're a servant in the house of a king. Similarly, if one becomes a servant of the Supreme Lord huh? or a servant of his servant, even better, then one has the honor of being the servant of the servant of the Lord. Just like Krishna says in the 11th canto, he's talking to Uddhava, he says, one who claims to be my devotee is not my devotee. One who claims to be the devotee of my devotee, he is my devotee. See? So we don't claim to be the direct devotee of Krishna. We claim to be a devotee of Srila Prabhupada, our spiritual master. And Srila Prabhupada is a devotee of his spiritual master, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Bhaktisiddhanta is a devotee of Gorkhashore Das Babaji Maharaj. Gorkhashore Das Babaji is a devotee of Thakur, uh, Bhakti Vinod, and so on, so on, back all the way to Krishna. That is our claim. Uh, we don't claim to be a devotee of Krishna. We're, we're an inspiring devotee of Krishna, but we are a devotee of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada personally accepted our service. Uh, he directly initiated us. He directly instructed us in devotional service. Uh, now, if we're successful, then Krishna will also accept us. But we don't claim, I'm a devotee of Krishna. No. What do we start off every satsang with obeisances to our spiritual master. Because without our spiritual master, Krishna never would accept our service. He doesn't. That's, that's his system. That's his plan. First you serve my devotee. Then we'll talk about your eternal service. 
First you become expert in serving my devotee. Then maybe gradually you'll understand what this is all about. Otherwise you have no chance. Okay. Guru Krishna Prasad Hoy Bhakti Lata Vij. What's the next? Mm, Barun, uh, in, in regards to this, Barun said, but didn't Brother Lawrence attain it without a guru? In, this, in the case where a soul is sincere and there's no guru available, then Krishna becomes the guru from within the heart. But this is the exception. This is not the rule. Huh? Guru is one. Huh? The principle of guru means the instructions given by the super soul or the instructions given in the Vedas. So if someone, because of the situation that they're in, they don't have access to a bona fide guru, then Krishna makes some arrangement to reveal the truth from within their heart. Krishna is very merciful, so he can do that. But the normal situation is one who is sincere comes in contact with a pure devotee of the Lord. By Krishna's arrangement. Is there another question? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens from Peter? What happens when you attain your pure spiritual body? What happens? What happens? Nothing. <laughs> you just realize who you are, that's all. It's an aha moment. Yeah. It's not like, you know, the lights flash and, you know, the angels, the angels come down from heaven and there's a trumpet blast and, you know. It's very quiet. It's a very quiet thing, very inner thing, a very internal thing. But nothing, precisely nothing happens. Because you realize, this is who I have always been. That's what happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's already happening. You've already been who you've already been for as long as you've been, which is forever. So all of us already are who we really are. We can't be anybody else. But we're trying to, and that's what's wrong with us. That's why we're suffering. We're trying to be Joe Schmo from Kokomo, you know, this material body. That's why we're suffering. That's why we're having problems. We're trying to be something that we're not. As soon as you stop doing that, so it's not that something happens, it's something stops happening. Huh? The struggle to be somebody that we are not stops. That's self-realization. But it has a positive act, ab, aspect as well. The positive aspect is that Krishna reveals our relationship with him and our service. And our service is exactly the thing that makes us the most happy and satisfied in the whole world. I'm not going to make any more hints. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. What is it? Two questions. Uh, when in my case, for example, I would like to chant all day and like that, but by the current circumstance, it's not possible. We're looking for a place and all this stuff. We, we need it's to not going to last forever. But it has lasted the past year, so I think it's going to last still longer, considering general the conditions. Mm -hmm. So, does that mean that uh, 
Krishna is uh, stopping me. He doesn't want me to do that. Basically, it's not my time or something. You have to be ripe. So it's a. It's mm -hmm. a First, there's so many things you have to learn. How to execute devotional service, how to relate to devotees, how to preach, how to manage. So many things you have to learn. Then, when you're in that position where your knowledge is complete, uh, read all the scriptures, learn Sanskrit, learn astrology, there's so many things to learn. And then, when your knowledge is complete, you understand everything fully. Then you go into the chanting. And you'll understand what the chanting means. See? It's like, how could you attain uh, perfect chanting unless you understand the meaning of the, of the chanting, right? By repeating? Well, that's one way to attain it. Let's say